Our innovation idea surrounded the purchase and implementation of 3D Organon, which is a visualization software surrounding human anatomy. Throughout the semester, whenever we can, we like to connect our structure and functional relationships. We do this much of the semester through a series of dissections of um, specimens, of vertebrate specimens. But as you can imagine, when you're teaching physiology, there are many images and many connections that you just can't make at the gross level. For example, one use of the software is when we're teaching our students about renal physiology, we have lots of examples for them. They perform a white rat dissection where they can see the kidney in the organism. But when we start talking about the mechanism of the kidney and the functional unit of the nephron that's performing the filtering action, it gets really complicated for them to visualize and to really understand. And now Organon has allowed us to start big, but then narrow them down to show them these structures and these units to help them visualize what the kidney function is actually performing. The software also allows our students to manipulate structures. Being able to rotate a heart around is really cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And one of the really unique aspects of our course is that we're an individualized instruction course. So we work with our students for the most part one-on-one. -on -one. And so it gives us the ability to use this technology to visualize these structures, but to do it in an environment where we're working with our students on an individualized basis, giving them the best information that we can give them and the most um, specialized information for that specific student. One um, aspect that we are really excited about is um, our teaching assistants that are using it. They're undergrad they're mostly interested in going into medical fields. So in addition to the benefit that we get for our students with visualizing these structures, our TAs are getting this experience of describing physiology and using this virtual anatomy software with students, much like they might do in their future careers as physicians, interacting with, you know, in a patient-like scenario with our students um, to try to develop some of the professional development skills that they can take with them uh, to medical school and beyond. Or the biggest change that we made at the beginning of the switch to virtual learning in the spring of 2020 was an immediate assignment of TAs receiving individual students to work with. So because we lost the access to our study center where those student TA interactions happened and all of our interactions then were via Zoom and our biggest concern was losing the engagement of our students with the course and with our teaching staff. Um, so I think the students were qu quite a bit more accountable and so we didn't lose that bit of engagement. Unfortunately, uh, one of the things that, that got lost in this was one of the major ways that we were delivering instruction with Organon with our, our project. Going into the fall of 2020, we tried to assimilate some of what we were doing with Organon and, and with the software into some of our everyday teaching, such as inserting static images, inserting animation videos. But as you can imagine, part of the appeal of the software was and is the ability to manipulate the software in real time. We're still trying to innovate bringing Organon into the course uh, and hopefully now that we have you know, built a, a good foundation for how to do the course online, we can meld in uh, the, uh, the Organon software.